Hey folks, Zach here. Um, in this video, I'm going to go over how to use LL Face Control for a um, custom character. That way you can control their face to a pretty fine degree. Um, I'm in this map. This is the Victorian house map where you can get this on the marketplace. It doesn't come with my uh, my product. but and I'm going to be using this, cus uh, this custom character right here. This is actually a, um, a Genesis 2 female. Um, She's got some custom morph targets that I've had to kind of cobble together to make it work with the fax system, so that this should be a pretty good test. Um, so I'm going to come over here, and um, this section right here of the Victorian house, I'm going to set this up. So we're going to go over to the, let's see, LL face control. Um, we're going to first thing we're going to do is we're going to double click on this animation blueprint. It's going to pop up and say, hey, you know, choose a new skeleton. We don't have one. So you go OK. And in this case, it's Strap. This is Rachel Strapless because that's what she's, her outfit is. It's a little bit different uh, outfit, but same character. OK, so then we're going to take this uh, control child uh, blueprint that you normally have. Now normally on the metahumans you just reparent this blueprint but if you're gonna do a custom character um, uh, you just do a couple of other minor things in order to make this work. So we're gonna double click this and I'm gonna come over here to the face uh, for this blueprint and I'm gonna choose uh, Rachel Strap Rachel Strapless. Okay. So she's in there. We're going to go to the viewport. I'm actually just going to, just for the sake of aesthetics, I'm going to add a groom. I also sell these grooms. I create these grooms, and I created this one specifically for her. Um, I think it's female short hair. Yeah. So we added that groom here. You can see there it is. And I'm going to come over here and get my uh, coordinates. Well, first I need to set the socket which the groom attaches to. So we've got that. And I'm going to change the location. Let's see, I think this is the location coordinates. So I don't have to mess around with placing this manually and figuring it out. And doing whatnot. So we're going to do that and then let's see how this looks. Whoa. Camera speed is never right. But okay, so here we are. There she is. We're going to compile that. We'll save it. Um, let's just go ahead and, well, I'm also going to do one more thing to match the scene because, oops, I think it should be I'm going to render this custom death pass because I have a cool post-process uh, filter on her. So we're going to come back here and we're just going to drop her into the scene here like so. I'm going to change the direction and We're ready to go. Okay. Now, I really don't... This needs some work, but it'll do for now. Because we just want to get the face working. That's what this video is for, right? Okay, so we're going to come over here to this. And we're going to create a new function. It's going to be... Actually, we're just going to create a new function. We're going to call this ARKit. You can call it whatever you want. We're going to come over here to this one, this function. Now, normally we do some other things for the metahuman, but we're going to copy that. We're going to come over here to the AR kit and paste that in here as such. And we're going to connect the AR kit to the cast to LL face control animation blueprint. We're going to compile it, save it. We don't need this anymore, just get rid of it. Um, now we're going to come over to the event graph, right? 
and this is your event begin play parent begin play it has a morph controller that goes over here and we're just going to drag this off here to the end of that and we're going to compile it save it really what this does is once you select the blueprint in the editor you have these uh, different options here for the iPhone and for the uh, for the head uh, rotation or the facial movement that's all that does um, it makes those active and work and so uh, yeah okay so now that we've got that done we're gonna come over here let me see if I've done everything I need to so yeah this animation class here is the LL face control animation blueprint we've got our character mesh here whether it's gonna be the face or it's the actual body for the face I've just done the body for the face for this purpose but you can split it up if you want um, so then I'm gonna come back over here to the uh, blueprint and um, really what we have or we need to do is come over here to this animation graph tab okay and you're gonna have this guy right here now what this does is it takes in all of the morph targets the modification of the morph targets for um, my filters or my materials and it and it overrides the the curves so in this situation since we're doing a custom character we need to get uh, new curves modify curves so what we do is we just right click and we go to um, let's see when you go to what what is it modify curve okay and since we're dealing with um, her right it should we've already got uh, the animation blueprint selected for her and the skeleton for her we should add the curve and it should be everything that's related to her right instead of a normal metahuman so in this case for ease of demonstration I'm just gonna type in jaw um, actually jaw doesn't work with her I think it's mouth open Oops. I think it's uh, Genesis to female mouth open. Let's see. Control L M. <laughs> okay, let's try a different way here. Let's go here. Add curve pin. Oops. Add curve pin and let's type in wide. There we go. That I believe is it. So we'll try that. And so now we need to select which of the morph target overrides match up to this. And it's simple, it's the jaw. So we're going to drag this down here. You can find an easier way. Once you disconnect all these, it'll be a lot easier to line these up correctly. But um, there it is. Jaw open, right? So we're going to drag that here. OK. Now, I'm not going to disconnect all of these. In fact, you may not even want to. You may just, um, I did. I held down the alt key and I just clicked to uh, disconnect this and so now instead of that since we're doing our custom character we can put this here instead um, so there we go so now I've got this uh, mouth open wide selected and I'm just going to compile I'm going to save and we just have this one now of course you need to do this for all 52 blend shapes and I think that's it so now we can come over here to this girl and I'm gonna launch my iPhone here in my hand and we're gonna come over here to our live link yep it's green and we should be able to select our iPhone yep and select the head go over here to the play simulate You notice that the um, 
mouth is the only thing moving on her because that's all we have set up. So I'm going to stop that for a minute. And I'm going to do one other thing. I don't like the fact that all of those um, uh, numbers were displaying on the screen. That means those are coming through and they should not be. Well, actually they should. But I'm going to come over here to the morph controller and I'm going to select calibrate instead. So that way we can lock it down to just one morph target. Uh, let's see. Jaw open and jaw open max. We're going to set this to zero and that to one. We're going to save. Okay. So now when I do this, use my phone. We're going to go to simulate. There we go. So that is how you set up a custom character and make it work. Now, it's important that you, of course, get all of these uh, selected, or not there, but uh, modify curves. Once you get all of these selected, um, it will uh, work correctly and it will display correctly just as though it was a normal metahuman. Now I'm going to take a look at a couple of things. I'm going to pause this video and I'll get right back to you just to verify um, that it works with the eyes. Hey guys, um, I'm going to, I had to play around with this a little bit to figure out the, uh, the eye situation on this character and uh, Kind of glad I did because uh, you'll get to see how to create a um, eye movement if your character has bones instead of morse, which I'll show you here in a second. So I'm going to come over here to um, the, what are we looking at? We're looking at, uh, well, let me maximize it a little bit more here. We're looking at the LL face control animation blueprint and we're looking at the animation graph. So as I explained earlier, these are the final morphs out that come from my product, the actual ending morph values that are assigned after you configure everything in your morph controller. So what I've had to do for this particular character, since she doesn't have any morph targets or morph curve values, whatever you want to call it, for her uh, face or um, for her eyes specifically, is you have to make a bone and a bone rotator. So and this what you do here. It's no big deal. And I apologize for typing on the keyboards real loud the way I have my mic set up. Sorry about that. But uh, transform modify bone. You plug that in here like so and what I do is I split the struct pin so you can see X Y and Z values now this is a very quick by the way this is a very quick and dirty way to do this I do not recommend it I mean there's much cleaner ways much easier ways um, well maybe not easier but uh, cleaner and um, easier to modify um, if that makes sense so once you have your modified bone and your uh, rotator split into the XYZ axis rotations. Um, you come over here and you want to select the mo bone to modify in this case, uh, right eye. That's what the, your skeleton for your character should come up here, the bones for the character. In this case for her right eye, it's just RI. And once that's set, you want to come over here to the rotation you want to select uh, replace existing, I believe. Yep, replace exi no, I'm sorry. You want to add to existing and you want to do it in the component space. Okay, so now that you have that, what I've done is I put it towards the end because towards the end you have this component to local and this transform modify bone already here. So it makes it real easy just to connect these. Um, so once you have that, uh, you can now take the morph values from the final out that are curves and we can create rotators. So I've taken this morph final out, I look in left and I've 
done a multiplication of that value and I'm piping it into the X roll and out of the X roll into the Z yaw. <laughs> this is very uh, backwards and I'll show you why, but it works. Um, if you take this value here, and the reason I'm multiplying this, uh, I have these multipliers here, is because to move her eye either left or right is requires an extreme uh, adjustment. It, it, the values has, have to be uh, near 20. 20 is the max where her eye is fully to the right or fully to the left, or negative 20 is when it's fully to the left. So this eye out value here is actually less. It's I think it's like um, 0 to 1 of course and that's typically how uh, morph targets work. It's 0 to 1. So to compensate for that, you have to put these multipliers in here, and I'm not exactly sure that's the best way, but it does work, which I'll show you in a minute. So we're piping that into the X roll and into this V roll. This is a lerp rotator. Basically, what this does is it's interpolating between uh, these two values, and is doing it at this 0.5 alpha. So um, this is a basically midpoint between these. So if she's looking left then it will go towards the 20. If she's looking right, it'll go towards the negative 20 on 0.5. So if I were to set this to 1, this would be all uh, A, I believe. And if I set this to 0, it would be all B. Um, so you have to find a value in between. Now I'm taking that X roll and I'm piping it out to the Z yaw. Of course you want to get these all arranged how they're supposed to be. This will probably go into uh, Z, Z, and then out from Z. I guess I could do that real quick, but I'm not going to. Uh, you get the idea. So once you've done that, uh, you now have a rotation from the values that you can set in my morph target uh, morph controller. So we'll come back over to our custom character here, and we can see that um, you know you have your morph controller here, and you know you have all those values, right? You have the eye looking left, right, max, out, right, out, max. And same for the left, so I can set those and tweak them to my heart's content or your heart's content, and yeah, it works. And I'm going to get out my trusty iPhone here, and we're going to launch it and see how it goes. So I'm just going to play, and earlier I had the, the jaw that I set, and you know, she's looking left or right, and the values here are popping in. So that's how it works, and um, yeah, that's the uh, the quick and dirty way to set bone rotations out of uh, the LL face control animation blueprint. And you know, if you have a more con this is she's uh, I'd say medium range complicated uh, character. If you have a more complicated character and you need help uh, using my product with uh, your custom character, I can help you. Just reach out and. Um, yeah, it's not an issue at all. I'll definitely uh, uh, take a look and, and, and assist you the best I can. So I hope this helps, and yeah, reach out if you need anything else. Thanks.